Check the, my question is that if someone was supposed was supposed to get married and uh, he is not able to find a Nikabi or Hijabi girl in his country like Pakistan, it is very difficult to find. I have told my parents and my siblings to find someone Hijabi Nikabi who is uh, well uh, following Islam properly, but it is very difficult. Uh, the only way person I am able to find is. Uh, person who prays five times and uh, uh, there is a person I know can I you know get married to some, someone like that your last part of the question was completely unclear you said you couldn't find any hijabi or niqabi woman in Pakistan then you said there is somebody whom you know what about her mm. you like her she's good yeah yeah, yeah, I like her, but uh, she she wears hijab, she prays, and that's all I know. She wears uh, hijab. So, okay. so I, where is the problem then? You said she's wearing hijab and she's good. Why don't you marry her? So I can can I ask her uh, that uh, will she follow the Islamic principles like not uh, taking part in photography or something like that? It happens in weddings. Some, some Habibi, Habibi, MashaAllah, you started off with a clear question. Then MashaAllah, you broadened your question. And you said you, you already have one. You found one. After you said you didn't find anyone in Pakistan. And I was going to completely disagree with you. Pakistan is such a beautiful country. And I was going to ask you, are you from Karachi, Lahore, Islamabad? I taught in only three major cities. And I taught the youth, and I have seen the youth club and the sisters, whether just wearing hijab or wearing niqab. I am extremely and truly proud of them. Everywhere I go, I say, <coughs> the brothers and sisters who organize my events, the youth club or the Dean um, event in, in Karachi, are amazing. There are not hundreds, not thousands, tens of thousands of committed and practicing sisters. You just need to do a serious search and a serious work. Come to any of these conventions. You will meet a lot of families and you will meet a lot of respected girls, mashallah. I can never say, oh, I couldn't find in Pakistan. That is absolutely not accurate, not true. You just need to make some uh, effort, okay? And now you said you found one. Alhamdulillah, you found one. You're worried that she uh, will, uh, in the wedding, will do this and this and that. This is where the engagement uh, plays the role of we get engaged in order to sit and we talk in the presence of the mahram that about the wedding, about the dowry, about the living. Uh, she might say, look, I'm not going to live in a joint family house. Okay. Uh, if this is okay with you, fine. I'm planning to do continue my education and get my PhD. Are you okay with that? No, I'm not okay with that. Well, good luck. Salama. See you later. Uh, you too say, look, in the wedding, I would like to book a hall only for the uh, uh, ladies and we'll book another hall for the men. Then you come to an agreement. You cannot just expect the unexpected. You don't know what she's going to say. So... Uh, May Allah make it easy for you. Make this dua. Rabbana hab lana min azwajina wa dhurriyatina qurrata a'yunin waj'anna lil muttaqina imama. You know, Pakistan is a beautiful country. Pakistanis are beautiful people. The only problem is their food is too spicy. Not just a little bit. Not Torah Torah. Really, really spicy. 